everybody welcome to another custom video so as you can see I have two Amy roses and the one on the left in the box I'm going to make it to a special custom I'm going to be making Amy Rose in her modern outfit from the new Sonic Superstars game I thought this was a very cute costume for Amy in the game get into a little figure me for my collection let's get started second time take it off take it That was easy. <laughs> okay, so to remove the red other red rainy off her limbs, I'm gonna be dipping her in some boiling hot water that I put in the microwave for a few minutes. Whoa. I kind of wish I knew that you could take off the figures arms and legs for my Jupiter custom because that would have made it so much easier than to just sculpt it by hand with everything on. Okay guys, so I have Amy in pieces. Here's her head. I didn't do anything special, just cut off the hair bit. Here's her torso. I kept the remainder of the skirt to use as an armature for her new skirt. Here are her arms. I tried cutting them down as best as I could. See, I got a little bit of the joint there. And here are her shoes, which isn't that special. I just cut off the laces. Now I'm going to be using epoxy sculpt. I know, you should be wearing gloves. I'm lazy. And I'm just going to sculpt where I'm going to make the changes. So let's start off with her arms. Okay, so spoiler alert. There's actually a little plot twist here. I actually did both Amy Rose customs, uh, this one and Myrna, simultaneously together. I didn't want to wait that long to do my Amy Rose modern outfit custom. So I decided to start working on her while Myrna was drying. I kept it a secret from the Myrna custom video. But yeah, I decided to not do that. I realized I needed to cut the top part off of Amy Rose's shoes. Cut to cut off shoe cuffs later. Here is how Amy Rose's head, right shoe, and skirt actually looked after I finished sculpting. And here's a little turnaround of Amy's head at the time of sculpting. I actually covered up a little bit of her headband that was still left from her original outfit. And then here are her arms and the other shoe that were sculpted on. I just had to wait for it to drop. Okay, so here is Amy's head. The headband isn't perfectly fine, but hey, it's on her left side. It's gonna be okay. Now I'm going to paint her with this princess pink paint and then paint her entire coat except for her eyes and her muzzle. I want to keep the eyes and keep the muzzle so that I don't have to repaint. <laughs> Sorry for the shakiness of the camera. I was using my phone on a little tripod and I was moving it so much it started to shake a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay, so here's a little bit of what I did to her face. I really wanted Amy to be looking to the side like in the concept art for her outfit. So I painted big black circles where uh, looking to the side and then i painted her nose and i added in her eyelashes added some little gray to the inside of her eyes then i added some eye highlights and then i gave her a smile and then after that i painted her little headband red to match the dress and then her head was done
Okay, so I didn't really like Amy Rose's original eyes, so I decided to start over with a new set of eyes. I really wanted her to be looking to the side, like she does in the concept art, so let's do that right now. Okay, so here's one of Amy's boots done. I have the silver sole underneath, and you want to know the secret? My secret ingredient is nail polish. That's why I use the Wet and Wild Shine Polish for her boots. And I'm going to be painting the other shoe right now. And she's done! Look at her! So, a little turnaround. Her arms and her head were super hard to get on. I had to have Daryl's help, but her shoes were easy to get on. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with my personal Amy. She's looking to the side and she has a different headband and a new dress. And hey, I like how it turned out. If you like this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!